Coach, make an opening statement, and then we will take questions. Well, you know, we'll uh, finish up with the last game. I, I thought our guys played pretty well last week, especially offensively. I think we had 564 yards and left left a couple scores out there. There's still a lot of room for improvement. Uh, defensively, we had the big play there, there at the very end. We had a few other guys in, but overall, I thought it was a good effort. And, uh, you know, South Florida's got a good ball club. They, uh, uh, you know, had, had – Tough games with Cincinnati and Florida, and you know we had to play extremely well in order to uh, get that win. Uh, we're looking forward to this week against Memphis, uh, homecoming here at uh, Tulane. It's you know, always a lot of people coming back. I'm getting all sorts of. I've been here long enough now. I got a, a lot of former players that are graduated and are are wanting tickets. Believe it or not, you know. And I say you got to buy those goddamn. No, I don't. <laughs> But uh, we got we'll have a good crowd here on Saturday, and just excited about the opportunity. Memphis had a couple of tough ball games last couple of weeks, but uh, uh, they're very very talented, and uh, you know we know that after playing them the last few years. So, anybody got any questions on anything? You know, we did a little bit of, we, we did a good job at driving between the 20s and didn't capitalize and get points, you know, that, like we needed to. Huge play at the end of the first half with, with getting the touchdown. Uh, I thought that was big, you know, and then, uh, you know, in the second half when, when they matched the score, big run by Tajay, 75 yard touchdown run, and then we got the takeaway a couple plays later and scored it. You know, he scored on the next play after that. That really swung the momentum of the game, I thought. But, uh, there wasn't anything to panic about. We just knew we had to play a little better and finish drives. And uh, you know, we had a you know one miss assignment that, that hurt us in the first half defensively. Otherwise, we, we played pretty well defensively uh, in the first half. What is your reaction to the ranking, Coach? Well, you know, we're proud of it. There's no doubt about that. But uh, you know, you just got to keep moving on. You know, it's. Uh, you know, a big thing we've been talking about is 1-0 and every week and, you know, uh, getting better and improving. It, I know it sure is nice to, you know, make adjustments and make corrections after a win, you know, and, and uh, uh, but uh, there's a lot of things that we can do better offense, defense, and, and special teams. We had, had a couple penalties in special teams. We need to get out of that business. It's way too many kills you in that phase more so than offense and defense. Talked about finishing drives, you know, and, and uh, you know, we call a four point play, scoring touchdowns instead of uh, kicking field goals. And then, uh, you know, another big play in the game was when when uh, they they jumped on third and one. I mean, we had third and six and we got a stop and it was a field goal and four point play to our advantage in that situation. But th there's a lot of room for improvement. How do you sustain? Success is great, but sustained success is, is, is harder. How do you do that? Well, I just think being consistent on you know day after day after day. I think for some people that come out here, they'd, they'd be hard pressed to see me different one day to the next. I, I'm very consistent in how I coach and present information to the players. I think our coaches do a good job with that. I'm a schedule guy. You know, you have a great game. You know, it doesn't carry over to the next one. You know, you need to flush that down the toilet and get your preparation started again. Same thing if you had a bad game, you know. So uh, uh, we, we, we talk about that during preseason camp, and uh, our kids know that's how we approach things. Willie, how much does Jim Smota help elevate this offense where it is, where it's a true balance attack for the last he, he's, he's done an excellent job. You know, we were a little disappointed two weeks ago about our rushing output, and uh, this was the kind of balance that I, I like to see. You know, the, the, the run game can really help the pass game out. Sometimes it doesn't really help the other way around. Some people think it does. I I don't know if it does or not. I don't think it does. But, uh, you know, he, he's done an excellent job. I think our assistant coaches, you know, uh, uh, you know Jim Spode has done a great job. Uh, Slade Nagel, John McMiniman, uh, Iman uh, Nagavi, uh, uh, Derek Sherman. We've got quite a few new additions to the offensive staff, and they've really, uh, you know, really meshed well together. Tajay, uh, well, he just he loves football, and the thing that I really uh, 
enjoy about it is he's a complete football player. We talk about that all the time. You know, people probably don't notice it, but he is a great pass protector. I mean, he he gets in the middle of linebackers and blitzing safeties from the edge. He he had to do that five or six times, and sometimes you know, running backs and receivers will, will take an angle to arrive late. They don't quite get there because there's some physical stuff going on when you get there. Tajay he gets takes the proper angle. He gets right in the middle of them. So a complete player. Uh, you know, does a good job catching the ball, you know, and then obviously he runs the ball well inside and then also out in the perimeter. So he's, he's an overall really good football player, very well coached uh, in high school, you know, and, and uh, Coach Tierney's a close friend of mine. He had him at Ponch too high, and, and uh, he was uh, he was like that when he got here. I'd like to take credit for it, but I, I can't. Ajay's really hard on himself, but it does seem to affect his play. I mean, you, you ask him, he's always talking about the plays he did. <laughs> Yeah. Stuff like that. And how do you how do you handle that dynamic in the game? Well, he, he's he's uh, got great attention to detail. I think last week he played 44 plays. He's 44, 44 with assignment. He's an outstanding student. You know, he's, I think he's I don't know he's three five something like that. But uh, he carries that over into the classroom for football too. So, I know you don't lock yourself in the office when you're not coaching and you're out on campus. I do lock, I do lock myself. <laughs> During the season, I do. <laughs> but, but, but supporting other teams. On my part. No, so, I'm just kidding. So I'm assuming, you know, too, that you're, um, you have relationships with the coaches, and I just wonder if you're getting feedback from them or other people around campus about how meaningful it is to some people to see, you know, Tulane getting national like that. You know, uh, I, I think one of the best things that uh, Troy Dan has done, you know, this right over here, this is where everybody's housed. And then right over there is, is, is the, where the rest of the people are, basketball and volleyball. And then we eat in this uh, Green Wave Grill right around the corner. And so I, I get to know all the student athletes. I get to know all the coaches. And we all root for each other. I'm, you know, I've been here long enough now where I'm close friends with, with uh, head coaches and the assistant coaches. And, and what's neat, too, is I get to know the players. You know, when I go watch a, a – a basketball game, I know those guys. The, the the baseball guys I walk by all day, every day. They're, they're locker rooms right next to our offices. So you, you get to see them. It's not like that at other places that I've been at. The, you know, the, the football program sequestered in one part of campus, and they don't ever see anybody else. You know, and then we got our academic center right downstairs, too. So I get to see everybody with the academic uh, center as well. So we all root for each other, and and, uh, and you're right. I, I, I don't. I really don't have any hobbies, so when we have time off. My wife and I we go to we go watch basketball games. We, I, I feel bad because I don't get to go to volleyball games during the season because I'm working so much. But I, I probably made uh, almost every home baseball game last year. I enjoy supporting the other sports, and and they support us too. Well, what, I'm just wondering what kind of feedback have they given you lately? They're fired up. They're all excited. You know, after the game, I, I get a text from. You know, probably seven, eight coaches. You know, of other sports, you know, so, you know, they're 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 watching, they're look, you know, and I do the same thing after uh, they have big wins or, or whatever the case may be. But uh, that's it's unique. It's not it's not like this at other Division One places. That, you know, sometimes they don't know who the other coaches are. They're not around them or you know, all those kind of things. So this it is unique here. But, you know, it's uh, we're we're a small university in a big city. You know. We're, only got 8,000 students, and, and uh, you know, and what's neat too is I'm, I, I get to know some of the students, uh, you know, over the course of their, you know, uh, career here as a student. So I know you've sent a lot of guys to the NFL. <coughs> when the time comes for Tajay, how, how good do you think he will be on the, on the next level? Oh, I, 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 you know, I, I let the pro guys all, you know, it's neat yesterday's Mark Sadowski was in here yesterday. He's uh, uh, he's a player personnel director for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the general manager of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Omar Khan, who Tulane guy also, you know, and 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 he's behind a lot of our guys. And but one thing about those scouts, they, they don't, they make their own mind up. It's just like me when I go out and recruit high school, I I want to hear about what they think about the guy as a kid, but I'm going to decide whether or not he can play at this level. But I certainly believe that. Uh, Tajay's a guy who can definitely play at the next level. I, every, he's a complete back, and, and uh, 
that's a unique talent. You know, some guys they got to play on third down. Some guys can only carry the ball. Some guys, you know, aren't assigned to sound. Some guys can't, you know, catch a ball out of the backfield. Some guys can't be good in the kicking game. He, he, he can do all that stuff. Some guys don't have breakaway speed. Some guys don't, don't run, you know, 10, 600 meters. Well, we're, we're we're proud of it, you know, but uh, it's just like when you know people are talking about bowl eligibility, you know, it's we're one and zero. That's what we're working on this week, and and uh, we want to keep getting better and keep improving. Well, we're, as far as getting them out here on Saturday, come on! I, I say it all the time. We got there's not a bad seat in the house. I mean, I, I really feel like if you come, you'll get hooked. You know, it's it's a it's a really really neat venue to watch a game, and and uh, you know, I just I know I, I sometimes sit up there in the top when high school teams play and watch up there, and I, I really enjoy watching it from up there. So it's a uh, it's a great place to watch a game. It really is. And, and I think if they come and watch, it'll be, wow, this is really good product that you got here. This is, this is good football. It's, uh, you know, there's a, uh, we're, we're going to have, I really believe over the course of the next four years, there'll be 10, 15 guys will have an opportunity to play in the NFL that'll be playing for us. And Memphis probably got the same thing. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you saw the, the jumbotron during practice. We that's all we had up there is talking about ball security. So it's huge. That's the number one thing I coach. I know as a head coach, and uh, you know, you win the turnover takeaway. We were plus one last week. We were plus two the week before that. Uh, it, it, I think my winning percentage when we're plus uh, turnover takeaway is ninety one percent. You know, so that's the easiest path to victory, you know, and, and uh, I've, I've lost very few games plus two or minus, I mean, plus two or better, I think like two. And uh, so, yeah, it's very, it's always important every game, very important. The quarterbacks had two really good games in a row, it seems like, since that injury. I'm wondering overall, on one hand, like, what's the biggest difference between him this year and last year? I know he was hurt last year, that's part of it. On the other hand, um, and so what is his influence? Well, it is everybody. You know, it's uh, it's the scout team guys, it's the managers, the trainers, the coaches, the players, obviously. But uh, Mike Mike's having a great year, and he's just uh, he's a really smart football player. He's another guy who's a great student, and it carries over into the football classroom as well. But uh, throws a pretty ball, runs it well, and that makes people have to defend him both run and pass. But he's uh, I think he's having an outstanding season and. He's got a huge influence. He's he's a servant leader, so he really helps out in that regard too. If you, um, you talked about the, the leaders of the team wanting to hold the whole team more accountable this year, um, kind of believing that last year's record wasn't necessarily reflective of what you had in the building, and see if they could kind of fix the details. <laughs> how much do you recall how that went, or how much influence you had on that, or is that something that's well, been- you know, you hope that it happens, and it's it's got to happen naturally. You know, it can't be something that I force feed, you know, that, you know, hey, listen to this guy. He's a leader, you know, and, but we've got, you know, the four captains that we have, Dorian Williams, uh, Nick Anderson, Sincere Hainsworth, and, and Michael Pratt are all servant leaders, you know. Uh, three of the four have already graduated. All of them are great students, and all of them work extremely hard. So there's someone to emulate and listen to. So it's, uh, you know, I, 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 they're, they're very, they're, 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 our players chose great captains, and these guys have embraced uh, being a captain. So I, I think it's uh, anytime it's, you're, you're, you're player led, it helps you. You know, but I, you know, it's like I've said many times before, I, I was proud of our guys last year. They've, I've had very few problems or issues in a tough, tough season. And uh, that's rare as well. I think that kind of is indicative of the. The, the, the guys we recruit. 
Very good.